Now, thousands of uh, Bangladeshi army soldiers have been deployed across the country to provide heavy security ahead of polling day on the 30th of December. The soldiers are setting up camps in 389 areas. The Bangladeshi Air Force is keeping helicopters on standby as well. Earlier, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina of the Awami League Party held a public rally in South Dhaka. So far, the high-pitched election campaign has been marred by violence and attacks on members of the opposition party, something that has been denied by the ruling Awami League Party. Now, the vote on 30th December will pit the incumbent Awami League of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina against the opposition alliance led by the Bangladesh Nationalist Party or BNP, which had boycotted the last election in 2014. Now, there's a growing international concern at a process that some critics say is stacked in favor of the ruling party. Now, Human Rights Watch accused the ruling party and its supporters of creating an atmosphere of fear for the opposition activists. Dhaka has said that it has approved over 170 foreign observers for the election. All right, joining me live from Dhaka is uh, Vion's very own Pooja Mehta. Pooja, thank you for joining us uh, from Dhaka. Now, give us a flavor, if you will, of the hectic campaigning which you saw in Dhaka, especially the Awami League party in which Sheikh Hasina addressed the rally. Well, absolutely. This is the fourth such public meeting that was held by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. She is also the party supremo of Awami League. Before today's uh, public meeting, she's held three earlier public meetings in Dhaka, Silet and Rongia. But one very important point that she made in today's public meeting, which she hadn't made in earlier meetings, is that, that the BNP acting chief Tariq, who's at large and has been convicted on graft charges by the Bangladesh, court she is going to bring him back if voted to power earlier she's touched upon issues like traffic and she's going to get the uh, project of uh, under uh, uh, underpasses subways and underground metro going and besides that she's also touched upon uh, uh, issues like canal uh, canals being cleaned up and not filled up illegally but for the first time she's made this point that she is going to get the acting chairman of BNP which is the opposition party in Bangladesh back if voted to power. Besides that, let me tell you, this is the last public meeting which was held by Sheikh Hasina. Beyond this, she's only going to address people through video conferences. So there were hundreds and thousands of people who had turned up today in South Dhaka, in Kamrangir uh, Char. This is the place in uh, Dhaka. Hundreds and thousands of people. And let me tell you, this is for the first time in the last three terms that Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina had visited this area. Remember, this is a very backward area and people were really excited to hear her and see her and they had turned up in huge numbers. Also, Pooja, very quickly now, we've spoken about the Awami League, Sheikh Hasina and the issues involved, which she has been raising in her election rallies. But what about the opposition alliance? Now, is the opposition alliance led by the BNP in any position to mount a, a, a comeback, so to speak, or put up a fight against the Awami League in the absence of Khalid Azia. Well, absolutely, as far as campaigns are concerned, and if you go across Dhaka city, there are almost rare posters of BNP and other opposition parties that you may see, because the entire city has been covered up with posters, festoons and flags of Awami League, and posters of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and other leaders of Awami League. But as far as BNP is concerned, in the last two days, we haven't really seen any campaign trails, any campaign rallies being carried out to buy uh, opposition or BNP leaders. As we speak now, there are reports coming from Shariatpur where the BNP candidate has been attacked. So there have been several instances where all across Bangladesh, uh, all the opposition parties, including BNP, they are leveling allegations against the ruling Awami League that they are being attacked all across the country. All right, uh, Pooja Mehta in Dhaka. Thank you for that update. Appreciate it.